In this sequence we'll be tying the grizzle hackled mayfly. It's a simple but very effective pattern when trout are taking mayfly duns. Right, the first step is to run the tying thread on just behind the eye, catch in that loose end, then trim off the excess. Then we carry the thread down the shank in touching turns until we reach the bend. Now with the thread parked almost opposite the barb, we take a few fibres of brown bucktail, remove any of the broken fibres there, and then off with the bunch up to the hook to form the tail. Now what we do is we catch it in, not right at the bend, but just a short way up, because what happens is the hairs will flare and we're going to control those with the body material later on. So let's just lock those waste fibres in place, bring the thread back, and then just trim off all those uh, soft waste fibres. Now having done that, we take a length of brown uniflex and just catch that in on top of the shank, and then stretch it and secure it along the hook taking the thread almost to the base of the tail. Now with the tail roughly in position and the rib caught in, we dub on a small pinch of cream fur. This can be anything, this can be dyed rabbit, it could be seal's fur, bleach seal's fur works well, just as long as it's cream colour to match the body of the natural. Now this first turn of dubbing is particularly important. It's a soft turn and it's used just to position the hair so that it doesn't flare. And then we carry the dubbing up the shank towards the eye until we've covered approximately three quarters of the length of the hook. So with the body in place, we now stretch the uniflex so it's quite thin and holding it, start to wind it up over the body in evenly spaced turns. Carry it on up until the whole of the body has been covered and then secure the loose end in place. Now with the loose end of the uniflex locked in place we just trim off the loose end. Don't pull it too tight or the end might ping back under the thread and uh, we'll have to start all over again. To create the wing and hackle we actually use a large grizzle cock hackle. Now don't choose a genetic one, choose a normal one because genetics are usually too short in the fibre for this. So we prepare it by stripping away all those broken fibres, soft fibres from the base of the hackle just to leave a bare stem and then we trim that stem short just to leave a little stub and then we offer it up to the hook so that it's just in front of the body. We can take the thread on over the stem up to the eye. Now using a pair of hackle pliers we just take hold of the hackle by its tip and begin to wind. Carry on winding the hackle forward in close turns building up a nice dense rough. This will help support the fly on the surface. Keep winding right up until you reach the eye. That done, secure the hackle tip with tying thread, just two or three turns, and then carefully, using your scissors, just trim off that tip, that excess tip. Now stroke the fibres back away from the eye and just build a small head. Okay, now with the head complete, we now finish off the fly with a whip finish, either using our fingers or a tool. And uh, three or four turns should be enough. That's uh, all the fibre out of the way. And then just trim off the end of the thread. Now to complete the fly, we take our scissors and we just trim off all the hackle fibres that sit beneath the thorax.
From this front on view with the hackle fibers clipped off you can see the profile that you're left with and you can see why the fly sits nice and low on the water's surface. So there we have it, the grizzle hackle mayfly, a, a great and very simple pattern that works well when trout are taking mayfly duns.